Congruences are an extension of the idea of divisibility. Instead of checking to see whether a single number is divisible by another, we're actually looking at whether two numbers are related to each other via the divisibility condition. Definition. If c is not equal to 0, we say that a is congruent to b mod c, provided that c divides a minus b. For example, we have that 29 is congruent to 14 mod 5, since 29 minus 14 is 15, and 5 divides 15. We can also restate Fermat's theorem and Wilson's theorem in terms of congruences. The original statements are in terms of divisibility. The translation of these theorems to statements about congruences is just a matter of applying the definition. Congruence modulo C is known as an equivalence relation. This basically means that congruences satisfy properties that make them behave like equal signs. More specifically, it means that congruences satisfy the properties in the following theorem. Theorem. If a, b, c, and d are integers with c not equal to 0, then the following assertions hold. The reflexive property, a is congruent to a modulo c. The symmetric property, if a is congruent to b mod c, then b is congruent to a mod c. The transitive property, if a is congruent to b mod c, and b is congruent to d mod c, then a is congruent to d mod c. Proving this theorem is just a matter of checking the equations. To prove the reflexive property, we simply note that a minus a equals 0 times c, and so it follows that a is congruent to a mod c. To prove the symmetric property, we simply write out what it means for a to be congruent to b mod c, and rewrite the equation to make it match the definition. The transitive property is similar. Once we write out the definitions, we simply need to combine the equations together to get the desired conclusion. We actually get even more property with congruences. They also satisfy arithmetic properties. Theorem. Suppose a is congruent to a prime mod c and b is congruent to b prime mod c. Then a plus b is congruent to a prime plus b prime mod c. a minus b is congruent to a prime minus b prime mod c. a times b is congruent to a prime times b prime mod c. To prove this, we will first translate the assumptions into equations that we can manipulate. If we add the equations together, we get the first statement. If we subtract the second from the first, we get the second statement. We can prove the third statement by multiplying the equations together, but we need to solve for a and b first. You can see that we have theorems for addition, subtraction, and multiplication. There's also a theorem for division, but it has an extra condition in it. The proof uses a statement from section 2-2, but one that was not mentioned in the videos. Theorem. If a, b, and c are integers, where a and c are relatively prime, and if c divides a, b, then c divides b. With this statement in place, we will prove our theorem. Theorem. If b d is congruent to b d prime mod c, and if the GCD of b and c is 1, then d is congruent to d prime mod c. Note that c divides b times d minus d prime. Then by theorem 2-3, since the GCD of b and c is 1, we must have that c divides d minus d prime. In other words, d is congruent to d prime mod c. In class, we will work through some examples and look at some alternate ways of thinking about modular arithmetic. Thank you for watching this video. I'm currently dabbling with the idea of creating more videos like these for my classes, and I welcome constructive comments that might help me make better videos in the future.